Children, listen. Now, exercise 10.8, fourth question. The engine of a motor boat moving at 10 meter per second. Shut off. Given that the retardation at any subsequent time after shutting off the engine is equal to the velocity at that time. Find the velocity after 2 seconds switching off the engine is a question. Listen the technique. Find the velocity. So V equal to question mark. After 2 seconds. So T equal to 2 seconds. Switching off the engine. So here find the velocity after 2 seconds switching off the engine. Which means, so it gives one condition. When T is equal to 2, when T is equal to 2 seconds, and the velocity v is equal to cosmo mark. Okay, which is one condition. Which is one condition. Also, come to the first line. The engine of a motor boat moving at a 10 meter per second shut off. That means shut off means at initially. Okay, at initially. So the first line gives one condition, which is when t is equal to zero. Listen carefully. When t is equal to zero, the velocity v is equal to 10 meter per second. So, which is one condition. Okay. Listen. First condition, it is a second condition. First condition, it is second condition. Over. And also, here, given that the retardation at any subsequent time equal to the velocity. So, listen. Equal to. Yes, which is equal to. Equal to the velocity. Equal to the velocity. That means equal to velocity. And uh, here, after shutting off the engine, here can tell me velocity is given by? Yes, very good. Velocity is given by capital, that is V is the velocity. Okay, V is the velocity and at the rate of, so that is why dV by dt. Here, which is mean to that dV by dt. Okay, so that is dV by dt is equal to V, that's all. dV by dt, which is equal to V. Here, setting off the engine, so that is why which gets negative answer. Where v is the velocity, dv by dt is the acceleration. Okay, v is the velocity, dv by dt is the acceleration. And uh, after setting off the engine, so that is why that the acceleration gets a negative sign. That's all. Okay, now preparation is very simple. Let v be the velocity of a motor boat. Listen, first step, let capital, that is v. Let V be the velocity. Let V be the velocity of a motor boat. Let V be the velocity of a motor boat at a time t. At any time t. Okay, which is the first line. And uh, after writing this introduction theory person, suddenly write the conditions. Okay. Conditions. Uh, to prepare the practical sums, the conditions are very important. First condition. When t equal to 0, velocity v equal to 10 meter per second. When t is equal to 0. When t is equal to 0, velocity is equal to 10 meter per second. Okay. We are asked to find. Yes. When t equal to 2, velocity equal to question mark. When t is equal to 2, velocity equal to question mark. That's all. So for all the sums, you should prepare first with this table. This table. This table is the technique to solve the practical sums. Okay. Table is ready. And uh, see, as per the information, the acceleration gets a negative sign. So minus dv by dt is equal to v. That's all. So that is a preparation. Now listen, it is very simple. As per the given data, minus dv by dt is equal to v. That's all. Now, here after yourself. Anyone? Yes, very good. Variable separable. Okay. For my convenience, in 10th chapter, I told already minus always right side. Okay. Keep minus always right side. For my convenience. Now, dv by dt is equal to minus v. Otherwise, multiply by minus 1 on both sides. Also correct. Why not? One can do like this. Multiply by minus 1 on both sides. 
multiply by minus 1 on both sides, minus into minus plus, minus into minus becomes plus, and uh, minus into V minus V. Now, any one idea? Yes, very good. Variable separable. Here, V means into 1 understood. Okay, co is into 1 understood. So, for uh, here, into DV means V should come to left side. So, V comes left side, but the minus always fixed right side in 10th chapter. And the DT goes to right side. Yourself? Yes, very good. That is, V comes left side 1 by V, and already into DV, which is equal to minus DT. Now, integration? Yes, formula available. Integral 1 by V, DV is equal to log V. And uh, integral DT is equal to T. Yes, formula available. So, integrating on both sides. Integrating on both sides, integral 1 by V dV is equal to minus integral dt. Now, next step. Yes, very good. That is, log V is equal to minus t. Integral dt is equal to t plus c. So, now, here there is no place down with, so I am writing next page. So, integral 1 by V dV is equal to, yes, log V. Okay, log V, which is equal to minus, as it is, okay, minus, Integral dt is equal to, yes, t. Okay, t. That's constant, see. Now, as is well, this logarithm goes to right, becomes base e to the right side answer. That is, taking anti-logarithm on both sides, we get base e to the right side answer. Okay, that is, v is equal to e power minus t plus c. Okay, now v is equal to yourself. Yes, very good. The base belongs to both of the power. Split it. That is, e power c into e power minus t. e power c into e power minus t. If you have doubt means how to verify? Yes, very good. Bases are equal, then the powers are added. So, e power minus t plus c. Yes, minus t plus c. Now, say listen to the effort. Here, c is a constant. Therefore, e power c is also a constant. Let the constant is e power c is a constant. Let it be which is capital C is also a constant. Capital C is a constant. Okay, now substituting V is equal to say E power C equal to we are taking capital C. So, capital C into E power minus T. Let it be the first equation. Okay, first equation ready. Now, I want to use conditions. So, after this, all the practical sums the same idea. Okay, first differential equation and the variable separable we get a solution. Now, use the conditions. First condition, when t equal to 0, v equal to 10. Listen, when. First condition, when t is equal to 0. When t equal to 0, v equal to 10. Okay, condition 1. Now 1 becomes, that's all. 1 becomes. Substitute in the first equation, yes, v. Where v is equal to 10, very important, okay. When v equal to 10, that means 10 is equal to c into Yes, c into e power minus t equal to 0. t equal to 0. Here, uh, minus 0 plus 0, there is no minus 0 plus 0. That is just 0. So, consider e power 0. Okay. e power minus 0 equal to e power 0. e power 0 equal to? Yes. e power 0 tends to 1. Okay. e power 0 tends to 1. Otherwise, one can do e power minus 0 equal to 1 by e power 0. So, 1 by 1 equal to 1. Any one way. So, okay. 1 into c equal to c, that is c equal to 10, yes, c equal to 10, c equal to 10. Substitute c equal to 10 in the first equation, yes, that is 1 becomes, okay. Now, here downward is no place, so that is why I am writing a next page, that is 1 becomes, again, okay. listen, 1 becomes. In first equation, substitute c equal to 10 here, okay, that is v equal to, v equal to 10 into e power minus t, which is second equation. Okay, box it. Second equation is ready. Now, say first condition completed. Now take the second condition. Okay, what is your second condition? Yes. When t equal to 2, when t equal to 2, v equal to question mark. Okay. Write the second condition. When, when t is equal to 2, such that, yes, velocity equal to question mark. So, which is the second condition. Now, 2 becomes, substitute in second equation, we get, yes, for here, v, yes, e equal to question mark, so e itself, which is equal to 10 into e power, e power, where t equal to 2, that means e power minus 2, yes, e power minus 2, 
This step answer is correct. So velocity v equal to 10 into e power minus 2 meter per second. Because here unit is given. Meter per second. That is a meter per second. Otherwise one can do like this also. That is e power minus 2 comes a denominator means becomes yes e power 2. That is e square. So for our convenience v is equal to 10 by e square. The unit is meter per second. Okay. So which is the required velocity. So, ends the answer. Children, listen. Now, fifth question from exercise 10.8. Suppose a person deposits 10,000 Indian rupees in a bank account at the rate of interest 5% per annum, compounded continuously. How much money will be in his bank? How much money will be in his bank account? 18 months later is a question. Okay. See, as is well, let a capital P be the principal. Okay. Let a capital P be the principal at any time t. One idea. Next, here, the rate of interest 15 percentage. Okay. Rate of interest, sorry, not 15 percentage, 5 percentage. Rate of interest 5 percentage. And 5 percentage means 5 by 100. Okay. 5 by 100 is equal to 0 0.05. One idea. And uh, which is a uh, fixed interest. So which is considered as constant k. One idea. Okay. And also here 18 months. 18 months means any idea? Okay. 18 months convert to years? Yes. Because 1 year equal to 12 months. Therefore 18 months is equal to 1 and a half years. Okay. 12 months is 18 equal to 12 months plus 6 months. So, where 12 months equal to 1 year and 6 months equal to half year, so 1 and a half years. Listen, 18 months is equal to 1 and a half years. 1 and a half years is equal to a cross mill, that is, a, it is a mixed numeral. Change to improper? Yes, 1, 2 is to 2 plus 1, 3, so 3 by 2 years. Okay, 3 by 2 years, that's the idea. And, say, when t is equal to 3 by 2, when t equal to 3 by 2, principal equal to cost mark. And, at the initial deposit, initial deposit is 10,000. Therefore, when t equal to 0 and uh, principal is equal to 10,000, which is the first condition. For practical sums, we want to find the conditions first. Okay. At initially time t equal to 0, so the initial deposit is rupees 10,000, which is the first condition. Okay. Condition 1. Next, when t is equal to 3 by 2, okay, which is t, when t equal to 3 by 2 years, principal equal to cost mark. Principal is equal to cost mark, which is second condition. That's all. Now, preparation is very simple. Now, solution, let, let capital P be the principal. Let capital P be the principal at any time t. Let capital T be the principal at any time t. Okay, first time over. Now, write the conditions. When t equal to 0, principal equal to 10,000. When t is equal to 0, principal is equal to 10,000. Okay. Next. When t is equal to 3 by 2 years. Okay. When t is equal to 3 by 2 years, principal is equal to cost mark. That's all. Principal equal to cost mark. So, that is preparation is ready. Now, as is well. Uh, we want to frame the difference in equation. Okay. Now, the next step is very simple. Here, dp by dt is proportional to p, as is well. Listen carefully. dp by dt is proportional to p. Okay, remove proportional and write equal and add some constant k. Now listen. Here you want to write 1 by 1 because I have no place, so that is why I write it. It's the right side. Now, dp by dt is equal to k into p. Listen. dp by dt is equal to k into p. Where k is the uh, proportionality constant. And also, listen, where k is a constant, where constant k is equal to 5 percentage. Okay, constant k is equal to, here, k is equal to 5 percentage. That is, k is equal to 5 percentage equal to 5 by 100. Okay, 5 by 100. That is, k is equal to 0 0.05. So here, I want to use k is equal to 0 0.05. That is a technique. Okay. Uh, tell me your differential equation. Yes, that is dp by dt is equal to where k is equal to 0 0.05 into p. Now here after yourself. 
Yes, variable separable. Here dp, therefore p comes left side, 1 by p. dt goes to right side, becomes multiplied, that's all. So before cosines, here k available. Now where k is equal to 5 percentage, equal to 0 0.05. So that is, that only differs. Remaining all same. Okay, p comes left side. We get. <coughs> now, variable separable. Variable separable means 1 by p into dp, which is equal to, here after yourself. Yes, dt goes to right side. Already 0 0.05 into dt. Now I want to integrate. Before integrating, verify formula. Yes. Integral 1 by p dp equal to? Yes, log p. Next. Here, uh, integral dt is equal to? Yes, t. Now, integrating on both sides. Answer yourself. Yes, very good. That is, log p is equal to 0 0.05t plus constant c. Yes, let it be the first equation. Now, use the conditions. What is your first condition? When t equal to 0, principal equal to 10,000. Okay, when? When t equal to 0, principal is equal to 10,000. Condition 1. Substitute in the first equation, 1 becomes? Yes, 1 becomes here. And before that, uh, we should make p is equal to something. Okay. Remember, first let us make p is equal to something. After we want to use the conditions. So, first log p is equal to this much. Now, this logarithm goes to write what happened? Yourself. That is, all the questions are same model. Okay, don't forget. Therefore, p is equal to log goes to right, becomes base e to the right side answer. That is, p is equal to e power 0 0.05 t plus c. Okay? Now, yourself. Yes, base belongs to both of the power. Split it. That is, capital P is equal to e power c into e power 0 0.05 t. So, e power c into e power 0 0.05 t. Okay, now, can you tell me the rough work? Yes, e power c equal to capital C. Since e power c equal to capital C. Substitute. P is equal to capital C into e power 0 0.05 t, which is the first equation. So, already we completed four sums. All the four sums, we want to make P equal to something, A equal to something. Don't stop logarithm itself, okay? Now, use the first condition. First condition, when t equal to 0, p equal to 10,000. When t is equal to 0. When t equal to 0, capital P is equal to 10,000. Okay. Now, 1 becomes. That's all. Okay. Can you tell me 1 becomes? Yes, downwards no place. So, that is why I am doing right side. Listen carefully. Right side, 1 becomes. Okay, capital P. Where capital P equal to 10,000. Okay which is equal to c into where t equal to 0. So, c into e power, c into e power 0 0.05 into 0 because where t equal to 0. Okay, now here after yourself. Very good. Here 0 0.05 into 0 equal to 0, e power 0. e power 0 tends to? Yes, 1. 1 into c equal to c. Therefore, c equal to 10,000. Therefore, c equal to 10,000. That's all. C equal to 10,000 ready. Substitute C equal to 10,000 in the first equation. We get, that is, 1 becomes. Okay. 1 becomes, capital P is equal to C equal to 10,000. Okay. That is, 10,000 into E power 0 0.05 T. E power 0 0.05 T. Okay. Which is second equation. So, first equation and the second equation ready. Now, until to this, we used one condition. First condition only, we substituted. Take the second condition. What is your second condition? Yes. When t equal to 3 by 2, p is equal to question mark. When t is equal to... When t is equal to 3 by 2, yes. Okay. And then, come on. Principal equal to question mark. Principal equal to question mark. Okay. Start your answer. That is, 2 becomes... Okay, that is a 2 becomes. Substitute here, yes, principal question mark. So that is the answer is principal equal to. Okay, now 10,000 into e power 0 0.05 into t, where e power 0 0.05 t, where t equal to 3 by 2. So into 3 by 2. Now simplification yourself. 
Yes, any idea? Very good. Here, 3 into 0 0.5. That is, a uh, first I forget the decimals. So, 3 fives are 15. 15 by 2 equal to? Yes, 7.5. 15 by 2 equal to 7.5. Listen to the effort. Forget the first of all decimal. 3 fives are 15. 15 by 2 equal to 7.5. Okay, 15 by 2. 15 by 2 is equal to 7.5. But already two decimal available. Therefore, this decimal move to left two places. Therefore, your answer is 0 0.075. That's all. Okay? Because here 3 fives are 15. 15 by 2 equal to 7.5. Clear. Now, already two decimal, therefore decimal move to left two places, therefore 0 0.075. So that is principal equal to 10,000 into e power 0 0.075. So, which is the amount when t is equal to 3 by 2 years. So, when, uh, when after 18 months, the principal equal to 10,000 into e power 0 0.075 will be the conclusion.